I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw an 1830 locomotive train. I'm going to take two fingers down here at the bottom and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight line from left to right. I come back and I'm going to draw it again. Straight line from left to right. I come right about here and I put a dot. And from that dot, I draw a baby circle. And then around that dot, I draw a big curved line and connect. I come right over here, put a dot, draw a baby circle. I come right above it, put another dot, draw a big curved line up and over. Now I come over here on the right hand side, put a dot, draw a baby circle, draw a dot right above, let's draw another curved line up, over, connect. And right next to that, put a dot, draw a baby circle, put a dot above, draw another circle, curve line all the way around, and connect. Now, we're going to go inside each one of our circles, and we're going to draw a circle again. Because these are going to be wheels, and they are spoked wheels. Okay? all the way down, around, up, and connect. I'm going to come back to the first one and draw one, two straight lines, jump over, one, two straight lines, come to the right, two straight lines, come to the left, two straight lines. Now, in between, I draw two more straight lines. These make the spokes. Come to the next one, one, two, jump over, one, two. To the right, one, two. To the left, one, two. In between, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, straight lines. Come over here, one, two, jump over, one, two. To the right, one, two. To the left, one, two, in between, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one more, one, two, jump over, one, two, to the right, one, two, to the left, one, two, in between, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, okay. Now we come all the way back over here on the left, come all the way up to the top, put a dot, and we're just going to go zigzag, 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 come back over here, straight line down, curve line in, connect, come back on this side on the right, straight line down, curve line in, and connect. Starting right about midpoint, we're going to just draw a straight line and leave it floating. Underneath, straight line and leave it floating. Right about here, we're just going to draw a curved line, straight line, curved line, straight line, connect. Right at the top, we draw another curved line, connect. Right here at the bottom, we're going to connect this one, two, little curved line at the top. Come right here and we are going to draw one, two straight lines, jump over, one, two straight lines. Come on the top, skinny rectangle, one, two, three, four, jump over, one, two, three, four, connect. Now, come back up here, and we're just going to draw a curved line, connect, curved line, connect. 
we come back over here and we can finish this line down straight line straight line connect come right about here let's draw a little straight line out straight line down straight line across jump over straight line straight line jump over and right here we're going to draw a straight line straight line straight line down straight line in connect right at this point we just draw a straight line straight line straight line connect okay now Come back over here, and we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. All the way down. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Okay. Now, let's go all the way back over to these. We're going to draw a little straight line out. Straight line up straight line over straight line down straight line in connect jump over straight line connect come on top and we're just going to draw a curve line connect on the left curve line connect on the right skinny rectangle one two three straight lines Come in a little bit, straight line on the left, straight line on the right, straight line connect, little skinny rectangle, one, two, three, connect, and right here, big curve line in, mimic it, big curve line in, straight line across, we'll all have different amounts, because we all draw differently. Now, if you have room, let's put these together, two straight lines, straight lines. Right about here, let's draw baby circle, curve line inside, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, curve line connect. Curve line out and in on the right, curve line out and in on the left. Straight line, curve line, straight line up. Right here, put a dot, curve line up, back, curve line up, back. All right, curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right, curve line connect, straight line, curve line in, up, curve line in, out, straight diagonal, straight diagonal, and curve line. That is the engineer, if you can believe it. He's out in the open and he's driving these cars with no protection at all. Let's put a little straight line here and connect. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is this is mostly gradations of the same colors. So I'm going to use gray on my smokestack space and in between I'm going to use gray all the way down and I'm going to use gray over here, gray over here, pretty much everything's gray. Gray right here, gray down here, because this is all steel and iron works. That's why they called it the iron horse. These are all gray, gray, gray. And this is gray, so it's all metal. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and make our space right here gray on all of these. These are all gray. This middle part is gray right here. And this is gray right here. Now, this always happens when I start coloring. I forgot to draw something. Hello? Steam, come over here. Curve line, curve line. That's how it went. Okay. Next, I take my black and very heavily 
I color in this space and I color in my spokes to my wheels. This is all black. This part right here can also be black. This is part of the machinery that had the engine go. So this should all be black all the way across. You will do a way better job than I am. I'm just giving you the general idea. And as a matter of fact, those of you that can really draw might want to add some more details. This is the minimal and this is pretty much what you would need in order to recognize this as an iron horse. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to come in and color the inside of this gray. But now I get out my brown because they still were using wood on parts of this. Some of the spokes on the wheels could also be brown. But I'm just going to use it on this space and these openings. Okay, now I'm going to put my engineer on little black couplings and then I'm going to put him in blue like denim to drive the train. And look how open it is. No covering, no safety zip. So you'd have to be kind of a sports type in order to run this engine. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is George Stevenson's rocket locomotive from 1830. They were called the Iron Horse. His was not the first, but his was the one that people used the most of. And it used to go 36 miles per hour. Speedway. Okay, bye-bye.